Need a ride? Call a robot. All right, I got some numbers to throw out at you guys. 13,587. That is the number of taxi cabs driving around the streets of New York City. And those cabs collectively provide 175 million trips per year. That breaks down to about 485,000 fares every single day. Recently, services like Uber have been creeping in on taxi cab territory. There are in fact more Uber drivers on the streets of New York than there are taxi cabs, but because your typical Uber driver isn't driving full time, the cabs take up the lion's share of the fares. So while the cabs are carrying about half a million people per day, Uber it's more like 34,000, but all of that may soon change because of robots. Autonomous cars. Now you guys know I'm incredibly excited about the future of autonomous vehicles. And why wouldn't I be? They're safer, they are more aware, they can react faster than we mere mortal human drivers. You can outfit an autonomous car with sensors so it doesn't have any blind spots. And of course, it's always paying attention to everything that's going on around it. Plus, it doesn't get mad when I belt out Barry Manilow songs. Oh, Mandy. Uber CEO Travis Kalanick said in 2014 he planned to transition the company from human drivers to robot cars in the near future. And earlier this year, they announced a partnership with Carnegie Mellon University to create a car technology center that looks into things including autonomous cars. And very recently, he said he would be willing to purchase 500,000 electric autonomous vehicles in 2020 if they are available. Now I'm gonna throw another number at you, 9,000. That's how many robotic cars it would take to replace the entire cab fleet of New York City. How is this possible? Well, the electric autonomous cars are more efficient. They can get to point A to point B more quickly. Plus there'd be less traffic on the roads and they can respond to dynamic traffic conditions. When it's in high demand, more cars hit the streets. When the battery starts to go below a certain level, that electric car just hightails it to HQ and sips on some sweet lightning juice. I mean, it goes home and recharges. So let me throw yet another number at you, 90%. That's how much we could cut greenhouse gas emissions from cars by switching to this electric autonomous taxi model in dense urban environments. However, we do need to look at the big picture. Keep in mind that we have to get that electricity from somewhere, and in places like New York City, that tends to be gas-fired or gas-coal power plants, meaning that the cars could be very environmentally friendly, but the electricity might not be. Another thing we have to think about is what happens to the jobs of those drivers who are going to be replaced by autonomous cars. This is a question that we really have to address because these autonomous cars are coming. Robo cars will rule the streets of New York and other cities. So we should start thinking about this now and make a transition plan. Personally, I'm really optimistic about all of this. Autonomous cars are going to make our cities safer and more pleasant to be in. They're going to cut down on traffic congestion. You're going to be able to get to where you need to go quickly. But we do have to keep that question in mind. So that's your question this week. What do we do about the jobs situation. Automation is coming, not just for drivers, but for everyone eventually. So what is the transition plan? I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments below. And thanks to Toyota for sponsoring this show and making it possible. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. Then subscribe to Forward Thinking and join our think tank. After all that, motor on this way and enjoy these videos over here. You came and you gave without taking